laptops, cell phones, tablets. These are all very clear examples of technology. As students, we use them almost every day. But now, I'm going to challenge each of you to think of alternative examples of technology within other areas you find interesting. That may be cars. It may be entertainment. That might be media. In my case, I'm interested in the intersection of technology and sports. Technology is a game changer, literally. Take a look at a mouth guard. It's a piece of equipment common to many sports. Most people think that its purpose is simply to protect our teeth while we play. And although that is true, it is also how we can protect our brains. Concussions have become a high profile topic. Many athletes are now speaking out about the effects that they've had on their lives. They're telling the tales of memory loss that they have received from injuries that they earned or they gained or received <laughs> years prior. Even student athletes are not exempt on both the high school and collegiate level. Students are getting headaches, they're missing classes, they're falling behind in school. It's not only impacting their lives on the field, it's impacting their social, their personal, and their academic lives as well. There's a debate going on whether a mouth guard can truly help prevent head injuries and concussions. What can a little piece of plastic do? How can you tell me that it will make a difference? But we can take this debate a step further. We have to go beyond injury prevention and stretch into the realm of injury research. A study done by the National Institute of Health in conjunction with the National Research Council revealed that there is a lack of data regarding incidences of concussions and the effect of repetitive head impact, especially in youth. This is alarming considering that the number of reported concussions has been on the rise in recent years. But what can we do about this? How can we find a solution? A team at a small Seattle startup, I1 Biometrics, has developed a mouth guard with built-in sensors. These sensors have the ability to record the force, velocity, and acceleration of a hit on impact. Currently, these mouth guards are even going to be put into practice. Universities such as Louisiana State, Kansas and Stanford are planning on testing this technology out during the 2015 to 2016 football seasons. The same company has also done some research of their own. They discovered that their sensors can tell the difference between rotational and linear acceleration, both of which result in different types of brain injuries. Consider this the difference between the motion of an ice skater spinning on the ice versus a sprinter running as hard as he can to reach the finish line during a 100 meter race. Equipped with a gyroscope, accelerometer, battery, and antennae, these sensors have the ability to pinpoint the location and severity of a hit on impact. Imagine a quarterback being sacked. He hits the ground hard and he hits his head in the process. All of this data is sent in real time to a handheld device used by trainers on the sideline. The ability of doctors to assess this information can revolutionize how we, use, how we view the link between technology and sports. Doctors have the ability now to provide immediate medical attention that is accurate and injury specific. Thereby, they can improve their practice and allow for a limited lasting effects on their patient. But technology can also change how we view and how athletes and coaches approach the game itself. A team at Catapult, an Australian company, has developed a sensor which is currently widely used by the NBA. The sensor worn in between the shoulder blades has the ability to record the motion, exertion, jumps, and heart rate of a player. It's being used to optimize workouts. 
trainers have the ability to set a benchmark during the preseason. They then can use data recorded in real time to push athletes to their limit in a healthy and safe manner. Athletes are able to reach new heights and be monitored in the process. In fact, the same technology has the ability to eliminate some of the doubt and subjectivity that is typical of the healing process. Athlete, it allows for athletes to separate their desire to get back in the game from their physical ability to do so. Trainers are able to make more informed decisions prior to allowing athletes to return to the court, ensuring that a future injury will not occur. But we are also familiar with other products that are out there. Most of us know someone who owns a Fitbit or a Jawbone. Maybe you're wearing one right now. Or maybe you're awaiting the arrival of the Apple Watch. Products like these have transformed the technology landscape of the everyday athlete. You can record how many steps you've walked in the day. You can record how many hours you slept at night. Technology like this is changing the game as well for the everyday athlete who's working towards their own personal goals. It's opening the door for doctors to prescribe technology as a manner of medicine, as a remedy. Due to the technology's accessibility, accuracy, and power as a motivational tool, technology can turn in a way to help you support your healthier lifestyles. But you don't even have to be the one working out or the one on the field or the one on the court to benefit from technology. You can be that overzealous fan, that fan cheering on your favorite team during a game. The English Premier League has adopted Hawk Eye goal line technology. This has allowed, this system sets up seven cameras, all directed towards the goal. These high speed video cameras have the ability to pinpoint the placement of the ball within four millimeters of its actual location. Then, if the ball crosses the plane of the goal, a signal is immediately sent to the watch of the referee. The goal of this technology is to eliminate human error. We are able to determine if the ball has crossed the line and if a goal has actually been made. This is important because it's creating healthier playing environments. It is reducing the tension between players and coaches and referees. They no longer feel the need to squabble over minor issues. And fans can get pretty into that too. So now there's less controversy. Players can focus on the game and really get involved in what they're doing. Fans can appreciate their efforts and just be observed and captivated by this athletic contest. Technology is revolutionizing both personal and professional athleticism. It is changing how we can push ourselves and how we can stretch the limits of our own capabilities. It is revolutionizing how athletes are approaching their game as well, creating an overall better fan experience and playing experience. We are in the middle of a highly transformative period in sports with the future athletes, coaches, doctors, lawyers, you name it, in the room right now, it is our job to analyze these new limits and set the bar ever higher. We have the ability to use these new tools. It is our job to take advantage of the new tools at our disposal and just do it. Thank you. <laughs>